Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what have you been working on lately, anyway? Alright, man, I've got this. Maybe a good little cut for the album, maybe. Something you say, you're my dreamer. Some people say I'm getting better. Some people say I'm no better than the average drums. Hey, you're cross, I can't keep you paid. I'm going to stop the getting paid. I'm cross, I'm a pond. I did a bone in anchors and bangers on the slots. But we ain't going to play no more of that shit. We're going to cut the album, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's the album? Alright, the album, as you know, is Fighting Demons. I mean, I ain't gonna get on no like new school shit, man, because I think there's like a lot of people doing a lot of that lately, you know what I mean? No disrespect to any of them people that are doing it like that. I just think I want to touch like size what not many people are doing at the moment, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like everyone's on some real talk and that, and, but they're doing it on like newish type beats, and I'm trying to do it in like a totally different way, and like a way that represents like what I'm talking about as well, I mean. Oh man, so how many tracks you got planned for Fighting Demons anyway? Uh, that's a tough question, man, because I ain't really like working on quantity and stuff. I'm just all I'm about at the moment is getting the quality there. I'll do all that doggy work last minute. You yeah, know? yeah. Like pick what you want on there. I mean, in a way, I want it to be a short album because like I remember buying CDs in the past, like all the old school Nas albums, when there's just like ten tracks long. They were always better than the albums with like eighteen tracks on them. That. Yeah. But just depends I suppose I mean like at the moment like, I've only got like one track definitely guaranteed going on there and that's a collab collaboration track I mean I want to have like a lot of collaborations on there but then at the same time I've, it's my album know what I mean so like people ain't buying my album for like fucking collaborations and shit like that so I've got to be careful with that yeah definitely but uh yeah this one's got Mary M from Canada she's on it it's got uh Tears like he's producing if not the whole album, the like, best part of it is on the second verse. I mean, this is like dope as fuck. Yeah, you see, it's just another one of them days, man. And the same shit happens, you know what I mean? It's just the same shit, different day. I'm going out of my way, making my pay from grams. We the knees contaminated Real the streets with what man. the next man needs. Multiplying my greed so I can keep my fucking pedigree. Ain't nothing new to me, the shit that I see. Everybody plans the kids for bidding on knees. Even I mean, if it... That track, you can hear that in the background on like the fucking Spit Pit documentary, man. <laughs> you know I mean, like fucking, that's, that was pressed like about half hour before that fuck we even went to that place. You know what I mean? It's already bumping in the fucking stereo. Yeah, you definitely. Know that. I mean, it's just real. I mean, no one's doing that. So anyway, yeah, uh, the album's coming out. Doing radio shows. You got the Spit Pit Radio. Yeah, it's big baby. You better tune into that. Although we ain't launched the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, man. So what's um what's going on with gigs? Anyway, you planning on performing at any time soon? Gigs, I think they'll be going down next summer. I'm pretty confident that we're going to be doing big things next summer. I mean, the whole Spit Pit. I mean, by by next summer, I mean you're going to have Coalition. That'll be like fucking fucking way up there by then. You're going to have Fine Demons. Hopefully. That'd be out just after Christmas at the very latest. I pretty much doubt it'd be any later in January. You've got Casper Black's Ever or Evolution from what he's been saying, and I think he's like quite ahead of that. You know what I mean, so I think that might be too long before that's out. I think once we've got all, all our albums out, I think we're going to all be like doing a lot of shit. And I think next summer's going to be prime time. I mean, I've got a few people that can sort things out like that. And I'm definitely up to doing that shit. I mean, I ain't gonna be a bedroom rapper for two long. I'm just trying to find my element. You know what I mean? Once, once Fine Demons is done, you, you're probably gonna fucking hear a lot about my shit. You know what I mean? It's gonna be out there. I ain't fucking about, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah, we yeah. ain't in it for fun as much as we are. We're in it to get out there, you know? Yeah, definitely. And I ain't fucking gold digging on shit neither. You know what I mean? Fuck money. Money's the root to all evil. And this is what it goes on. <laughs>
So as a whole, um, that of every every artist that you've ever listened to, like who would you class as your influence on uh, basically your sound today? Fucking hell, I mean, damn, that's a big question. I mean, I don't think I could even tell you my top five. I mean, the flow I used to listen to, um, Cool G Rap, he's got sick flow, Dayton Family. I mean, I used to listen to them for flow, but probably the one artist alive and still doing this thing now, I'd have to say is my biggest influence, is probably Nas, I mean, the way he talks, the way he explains it, you know what I mean, it's, it's poetic, it's deep, sometimes you have to remind his shit to understand what the fuck he's talking about, you know what I mean, I mean, that's real, but... Yeah, I think he's the biggest influence, but I try not to, when I first started writing and that, I went through the stage of not listening to anyone, no, apart from myself. Yeah, yeah. And I, I seriously did, I went about three months of not listening to anything but what I was doing, instrumentals, that's the only thing I was listening to. I think that helped in a way inspire my flow sort of thing, because I think everyone, like, if you listen to people, I mean, You'll always say that person sounds like that person and stuff like that because at the end of the day it's quite hard to be fucking unique because there's so many people doing their styles, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And like, I've tried not to be too influenced by people in that aspect. <laughs> Yeah, spit pit exclusive. So <laughs> we go down. What up, Crow? What's up, man? It's uh, well, it's a JP's booth, man. This is what it is. You get yeah, a little tour. No. <laughs> Not in the spit pit right now. Spit pit music. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just a preview of my verse. Um, yeah, man. Run that shit. Pump up the volume. It's down there. Bro. The bars are killing, you're far from hidden Your last speak with some of the cop is far from feeling I've got that much meaning behind it For the time that I run it in your mind I guess it I works it out, the verse is out I ain't flush it, cause I'm a rise up Like the smell of stale piss when you piss on top of it Cause somebody else forgot to flush it Now a fact, compare me to the urine I'm busted, fuck censorship He says this kiss can hear the cussing Just seeing with his new shit, exclusive And who would really wanna hear your whack shit On spit pit music, whatever the spark is for you I'm a defuse it, you know that's fucking hot Oh, I'll make sure that you lose it, it creeps with you Cause I can't believe you'd be so stupid as to actually Have the audacity to record rappers and whack and speak up to a rapper Who could break back from tracks You two are not here and you and Michael do some suicide <laughs> yeah, That's that exclusive you shit, know. Like, you ain't even ready for that like, We like, don't even know what a fucking track's called yet <laughs> <laughs> I, shouldn't even, like, I shouldn't even record like fucking 16 bars man I should, I just yeah, leave You should eight, just do like. the old fucking track <laughs> Fuck it, there's the mic, use it <laughs> Just do it. Man, Straight yeah. from the top of the dome. Top of the dome. You ain't popular. Go home. Yeah. Where's my beer anyway? We got all these cans. Yeah, and shit. I know. Look. Fucking get messy up in this motherfucker. My one's near enough full. That's that one. Oh, that's some new shit. That. That's, that's that. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I would just stop this. They should shit. call this shit Crossburg. <laughs> yeah, you know.